HRN listeners. As we celebrate our 15th year, we are deepening our commitment to giving voice to the next generation of food system storytellers, and we need your help. Our internship and fellowship programs help activate new possibilities for underrepresented and underestimated young people through experiential journalism, audio engineering, and production training. Through these unique programs, HRN helps food equity stewards build essential workforce readiness skills that expand their potential and foster economic mobility. Please consider supporting these critical programs. And with a minimum donation, you can be entered to win a dinner for two at an amazing restaurant in one of eight cities and tickets to a concert at a great venue in one of those cities. We have incredible partners across the country who have donated as they also share our passion for helping to educate the next generation of food system storytellers. Check out heritageradionetwork.org 15 to donate and enter to win today. That's heritageradionetwork.org 15 to donate and enter to win today. And make sure you donate before March 31st. Thank you. Hearst Ranch is a proud sponsor of the Heritage Radio Network. Learn more about Hearst Ranch at hearstranch.com. My name is Hannah Forden. I'm the membership coordinator at Heritage Radio Network, but even before I joined the team, I loved listening to HRN during my subway commute. It made the time go quickly and left me feeling inspired for the day ahead. HRN listeners tune in from all over the world, but there are a few traits that we all have in common, no matter where we listen from. A curious palate, the fierceness to make a difference, and a hunger for lifelong learning about the culinary world. As you know, Heritage Radio Network is a listener-supported nonprofit. To deliver the most ambitious, entertaining, and of-the-moment stories in 2018, we need your help. We need to raise $150,000 by December 31st to accomplish these goals and to keep your favorite shows on the air. Together, we can make this HRN's most exciting, impactful, and delicious year yet. No matter how much you choose to give, you'll feel awesome next time you tune in, knowing that we wouldn't be here without you. Become a member by donating today. Join us at heritageradionetwork.org slash donate, and you'll immediately start enjoying benefits such as VIP invitations to HRN events, where you will mix and mingle with your favorite hosts. Plus, we have great member swag. Show off your HRN pride with a t-shirt or keep your hands safe in the kitchen with an HRN pot holder. Memberships also make a perfect holiday gift for all the foodies in your life. This year, why not give the gift of food radio? You'll hear your generosity in action for the year to come. Help keep our lights on and our mics hot by pledging your support today at heritageradionetwork.org slash donate. Thanks for listening. So you don't shun the devil with your rock and roll load. Knows that country music's gonna save your soul. The Welcome back to the Speakeasy. I'm Damon Bolte. My name is Souther Teague. Souther. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> you getting no. any further in your book, dude? Uh, yeah, actually. I'm getting, I'm getting very far along. Um, just had a meeting with my editor last night, and uh, they're pleased with the work that I'm submitting. Uh, there aren't a harsh amount of uh, um, you know, edits uh, on what I'm turning in. Uh, and he said, "He said you're a solid B minus," and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, that's better than I ever was yeah, in school." Exactly. <laughs> and you're still you haven't broken down and uh, gotten a computer yet, have you? Negative, sir. Still that's writing awesome. the entire book on my on my device, my iPhone. It's amazing. Yeah, it's oh, great. By the way, congratulations, wine enthusiast, mixologist of the year. Uh, thank you. Yeah, pretty big distinction to be uh, awarded. Uh, you know, uh, also I feel like it's. You know, obviously, it's not just about what I do at Amore Margo, um, but that's how I feel in my life. That, that that's all I do, right? Yeah. So it feels pretty. Yeah. It feels pretty um, special and impactful to be chosen from such a, a field of, of professionals. When I, I feel like I'm just in a 240 square foot room, you know, like I feel like the other the other nominees they see more they see more guests at their bar in a, in a day than I see in a week, yeah. right? Um, 
but it's a great distinction and, and you know, uh, I'm really happy and hopeful that it'll shine some light on me in a way that will highlight what we're doing with, with the coup tour and get some more charity going for coup. Yeah. Really um, looking forward to that. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we're going to kick that off in January. Um, yeah, so so that just happened last uh, last Thursday. I guess they announced it. Uh, one of the cool parts for me is that the award ceremony is in January uh, in Miami. So I'll get to dip out of the bitter cold here in New York and jump down to Miami for a few days and ac- accept my distinction. <laughs> right? Yeah. What have you been up to this week? I went upstate with a bunch of other bartenders and went on a pheasant hunt. I saw that on your a bunch Instagram. Of whiskey and ate you a bunch and Tiki of Adam. T. Adam Thomas Woff Award, Philip Casey, Chef Philip Casey. Yeah, did he cook uh, that Chef pheasant? Chef Galley from uh, Prime Meats. Uh, we did not cook the pheasant yet. We had to, we had to dress them. Yeah, you got to let we it sit. We did that back here. You got to let it sit for a minute. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was really fun, man. Got to uh, just did hang you? out, like do some cabin whiskey drinking and uh, <laughs> playing some music and eating steak. And speaking of... You're living uh, like the most charmed life these, these past few weeks. It's not been too bad lately. <laughs> Yeah. Especially going into like in the winter, it's like it's it's all right. Yeah, you're doing but, good. But speaking of drinking whiskey, yeah, let's do some of that today. Yeah, let's do that. Why don't you introduce our guest? Man? Yeah, so today in the studio we've got uh, uh, Jimmy Palumbo and Bernie Lovers is our our main guest here from uh, Heaven Hill. Uh, welcome to the studio, guys. It's welcome. good to be here. Good to be here. Good to have you. Super excited to have you in, in the studio. Thanks um, for having me. I'll sit down, put a guitar in my hand, and, uh, and whiskey in my hand. I feel feel like I'm back in Kentucky. It, and you, you're just fresh off the plane, right? Just off. Just landed at uh, what nine o'clock, something like that. Yeah, yeah nine o'clock. And you're in town <clears> for uh, uh, whiskey live, the whiskey fest. Oh, whiskey fest. The, I'm uh, sorry, that's okay. It's, it's it doesn't matter to me, but probably does to them. But I don't yeah, know what, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's all sorry, whiskey to me. Yeah, <laughs> but, anyway, but it is live. But uh, yeah, whiskey fest down at the Marriott Marquis. Going to have a good time tomorrow night, and then came up to. Uh, to be with Jimmy and work in the market and uh, make a splash. Awesome. How, how long are you going to be in town? I'll be here till Sunday. Oh, rad. So, yeah. so maybe you should swing over to my bar. There you go. Um, and, and say hello. And obviously go to Damon's bar as well. Yeah, we can do that. <clears throat> um, so just for the edification of our listener, um, Bernie, why don't you give us a, <laughs> I don't want your whole CV because, you, you know, uh, but give me, give us, give us your background. Where, what, what, what started you in this business? Because I know who the hell are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 I know who you are. But I've seen you around and, and and been involved in events that you were in. But but our listener may not know who you are. Um, Absolutely. But you started your career as a, a comedian, right? I worked at a bank before that for two and a half years, and then. Uh, <laughs> well, that's funny. So too. I always knew the time and temperature, and then after that, I got into comedy for uh, twenty years. Okay. I'm gonna pause right there and say that's that's the that's the old joke, right? I don't think banks still have the time and temperature right. out front. <laughs> Uh, and so uh, uh, from 85 to 2005, I was in the comedy uh, full-time comedian, and so um, uh, that was a blast. And then at the time, the people were looking for, um, uh, the, the only people that were talking about whiskey in, were the distillers. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they were busy distilling, but they had some time to go out. So they were, uh, uh, they were looking for somebody who could talk to people and, because I could stand up in front of people and talk. Uh, and I had been around in the industry, uh, you know, with different uh, events and different stuff. Um, they recruited me to to uh, get in the business. And so I've been in there ever since, since 2005. So uh, uh, first year and a half, I did events and promotions. And after that, I was recruited to be an uh, ambassador for brands. And here we are. So I'm with, uh, for the last five and a half years, I've been with uh, Heaven Hill Distillery out of Louisville and Barstown, Kentucky. The, the Reno, Nevada of distilleries, the biggest little <laughs> distillery in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and during that time, though, you 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 not only just kind of cruised around and made people laugh and and feel comfortable and easy about whiskey, but you you were awarded some pretty heavy distinctions yourself, right? Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, you know, I'd, y- 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 if you're going to win something, you're definitely not going to go out. If you, if you set out to win something, you won't. Right. But if you just set out to do something in a different way, as a comedian, I looked at things different. And I, and the, at the time, people were you had a PowerPoint presentation, and here's how we make whiskey. I'm like, and as an entertainer, I'm looking. I'm like, well, hell, I thought y'all made it. I thought y'all knew how to make it and made it well. Why am I looking at a PowerPoint of fermenters? And and I figured you knew how to do this. Tell me something that you know. So I wrote tastings and trainings give, give that were character different. to it. Yeah. yeah. And told stories and uh, I noticed that that's what the great distillers did. They you know they talked about that but they talked about their families and they talked about you know the stories people wanted to hear. Right. So the I color, did more it's of that the color commentary. It's the, yeah. it's the give and life to the story. And I wasn't from there so that's when I kind of lo- uh, uh, latched on to words on labels. 
So just like if you're a, if you if you're a sommelier, you know how to read a wine label. You can tell me what varietal it's from, where it's from, you know what, what, what where. It, well, you can do the same thing with whiskey labels. You can tell who made it. You can tell how old it is. You can tell a lot of things about it just by reading the label. So I started doing that like ten years ago. Nobody was talking about that ten years ago. Sure, I latched onto Bottle and Bond and helped. Uh, we helped uh, bring that back into into the forefront. And so you know, you it, it's, you look if you look things as. What are these people interested in? Just like you would in a comedy act, you know. I, I, I can't do the same, you know, in, or a music act. You know, you got to make it entertaining, but you got to make it very educational in this business. Infotainment—that's exactly yeah. the reason why. I, that's what I, we do. Why I started the show? Yeah, <laughs> uh, education, entertainment. You know, but there's there's absolutely there's like there's only so many times you can go to a seminar talking about bourbon and you hear the the rundown of like New American Oak, fifty one percent corn. Uh, blah blah blah. You know, yeah. like every like, the ABCs they were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, I wanna... Bring it alive. Bring it alive. You know, and that's why I like when I'm doing my tastings now. A lot of times, I that's why Jimmy let me play his nice resonator guitar or whatever. The um, you know, I'm from Kentucky. We make good Kentucky whiskey. And we're also known for Kentucky music. You know, Bill Monroe created bluegrass music. I'm yeah. a big Merle Travis fan. So yeah. Merle Travis from Kentucky. He kind of changed the way people play the guitar. Uh, you know, uh, and so it's. It's not a popular, you know, not very few people know who these people are, but that's to people like me to tell people who these people are. I have a Merle Travis guitar. Oh, wow. A Bigsby Merle Travis. <laughs> nice. Yeah. He can't stump, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Unstumpable. That's um, not true. But yeah, that's uh, there's there's a lot of uh, heritage there, and yeah. there's a lot, there's, there's more than just like. I've been saying a lot lately. It's like you got to think outside of the bottle, you know. Like, <laughs> right, you know, there's very good. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And but there's like a lot. There's a lot that surrounds it, you know. And sure. There's and, there's so many like storied past with uh, different distilleries, and you know, like, in, in certain mistakes that have been made <laughs> that really Absolutely. shaped like the the and tragedies. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has a good tragedy, you know. Yeah. A good thing you can, we had a big fire in nineteen ninety six. So you know that's a yeah. good that's uh you know you come back from the Phoenix of the fire. Uh and can't all have that. wooden still uh work rick houses anymore. Right. You know? So uh <laughs> yeah I mean it's 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 got all that. It's got intrigue, it's got mystery, it's got uh you know and whiskey on on top of it. Yeah at the, the very end of the day you got whiskey. So <laughs> right, which is you know it, it, it always it, everything gets muddled when that gets into the into Cheers the mix. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that Cheers. whiskey. <laughs> um, we're drinking some whiskey right now. Yeah. Jimmy, what are we drinking? Uh, this is the uh, Evan Williams Single Barrel. Uh, it's the 2009. Um, I was doing a little uh, training session at uh, our offices uh, in Syosset. And, uh, I have a summer home there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it's, it's, so it's a vintage. So you'll see on the back of the label there that it'll sell you. Uh, you know when it was barreled, when it was bottled. And bottled on January thirtieth, nineteen twenty seventeen. What is that a special date? Yeah, that's my birthday. So <laughs> so I immediately just kind of took that. And I was like, all right, well, this is my birthday bottle and mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for sharing it. Uh, I, I just pointed out to, before we got on the air to, to Bernie that uh, at Amore Margo, my only bourbon whiskey is the Evan Williams Single Barrel. <laughs> only. I, that's, I, that's impressive. I, I think that's a pretty... Parker you know, Bean would be very proud of that. This was his baby, you know. Um, yeah. and, you know it's a, and it's a brand that kind of gets lost. And it's one of those cool brands because not everybody knows about it. They should. It's a very award-winning, which means nothing until you win them, right? You know, right. cares about that's awards until right. yeah. you win them. Yeah. But <laughs> Mixology of the Year. Who's that? Oh, it's me? Oh, then it's hey, great. Hey, that's yeah. great. <laughs> Cocktail Bar of the Year? What? <laughs> yeah, greatest thing ever. <laughs> but this is one of the most approachable yet complex and great bourbons out there. I mean, it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's just a great expression and Parker loved single barrels he loved he loved uh, ages around 8 to 12 years old and this is and it's priced everything. to sell as well you know cool. and yeah. you know you mentioned uh, um, that it's a little bit unheard of that's one of the it's not it's not one of the sort of front of mind reasons that I choose it as my mm -hmm. again only bourbon um, but it certainly is a reason that that makes it interesting for me to continue to carry because uh, when people come in and they see it, uh, it gives it's a teaching opportunity. Sure. Uh, for me, and of course, a learning opportunity for them. Um, it know, gets because lost they come because to, it's, it's of the price. People sure. don't look take it seriously because exactly. of the well, price. You know, you know the, which that, is a common thing with, that, that's with a lot of things. For sure. With a lot of things, yeah. But heaven Hill, for sure. I was going to say that um, there's a lot of times where, in like, and I, I, I want this to come across the right <laughs> way, there are a lot of 
dive bars that I frequent, oh, which yeah. are most sure. of the bars sure. that I frequent <laughs> yes, these yes. days. But they have Evan Williams Black or or, or Green Label in the like in their well is mm-hmm. their like house bourbon, and I'm always I'm always psyched to see it because <laughs> yeah. like I I fucking love it and. <laughs> yeah. And if I if I want to do it like if I want to buy a round of shots for my buddies, mm-hmm. um, it's not going to kill you. It's it's not going to it's not going to hurt my pocket. You know, it's not. I'm I'm going to be totally psyched to drink it. And I was going to ask like, is that something that you've noticed uh, as far as like, uh, as far as like, the expansion of the brand and like where it's being placed? I mean, I think maybe Jimmy, you might be a uh, better one to ask about this, but you, you do know, like, I mean, we worked together in yeah. the past uh, <laughs> behind the bar. You do know each other, right? We, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We were lucky enough to do, like, two shifts together before they split us up, put us on the other side. Yeah, the they, they, they were, well, that was a smart management. <laughs> that was absolutely, <laughs> absolutely right, the right thing to do. Way to go, Kruger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like a lot of our brands, uh, you know, we're, we're family owned and we're family operated, and we, so we're not chasing a number. And that's a yeah. big thing about uh, difference between us. And not that anybody else who has to, that's just what they have. They got to do that. Sure. We don't yeah. have to do that. So we're, we're not chasing, uh, we don't have to hit a certain bottle sales or else our stock price goes down. Right. So enough time has passed we're and you're establishing to sell things yeah. the way we want to sell them and we don't have to. And so we're making a good profit. And But you know, a lot of people say, well, I want the, you know, I want the. Eighty dollar, ninety dollar. You know, I want the. I've seen, I hear the. You know, the, the unicorn things thrown around a lot. We want unicorns. I said, I don't want unicorns. I want. I want mules and horses. That's yeah, what I yeah, want. Yeah. Yeah. No unicorns. Right? Workhorses. Something with a backbone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something that can. And we've carry got some load. of those. We got some allocated. We, we don't want a lot. We want. We want everyday and good American bourbon and American whiskey should be shared with friends. That's Just right. like you say when you go to a dive bar, Absolutely. you buy around with your friends. Uh, it shouldn't kill you when you do that, you know. Yeah. Okay. No matter right. what you got, so that's what we got. We got good, good whiskey, a good price. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, as is always the case, with the first uh, segment of the show has flown by, so we're going to take a quick break and hear from our sponsors. We're going to come right awesome. back with uh, Jimmy Palumbo and Bernie Lovers, and Bernie's going to uh, play his guitar with Damon. Cool. So hang on. Let's 